I, uh, I don't own a gun, even though I look like the Second Amendment is my favorite commandment. <laughs> <laughs> the Heavenly Forefathers declared on high <laughs> that I have the right to bear arms. <laughs> and maybe I'll cover them mostly in tattoos. Wow. <laughs> Art joke at the end. <laughs> I like having tattoos. It's like a show and tell I can't take off. <laughs> and they're like, what's that? I was like, it's an idea I had when I was 22. <laughs> <laughs> Costs a lot of money, but Amanda was nice. <laughs> she does good work. <laughs> she does, I like it, but ah, all right, this is who I am. <laughs> Have you guys ever just walked past the mirror and looked at it and been like, that's not how I thought this was gonna go. Like, I didn't know I was gonna grow up and just end up looking like an angry, stretched out baby. Like, like <laughs> wasn't the first choice. Like, I'm fine with how I look, but it's just like, all right, same haircut for forever, tight. That's, that's dope. Okay, that's, that's, it's not the same haircut for forever. I just, I have bald, it's either skinhead or cul-de-sac. Those are the, <laughs> Suburbia or white supremacist, which is it? Okay, I can feel the honkies on Capitol Hill pulling back. Don't use that word, Luke, it's a pejorative. <laughs> yeah, you sound like a real honky when you think that thought now, don't you? <laughs> I like to be racist to white people. It's the only racism I can still get away with. It. <laughs> Progress, motherfucker! <Okay. laughs> Okay, you guys are fun. I, uh, I recently got diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. I didn't listen to the doctor. <laughs> Which means I earned it! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, she still gave me a prescription. Up until that point, I'd only ever done drugs recreationally. Never professionally. Oh, and it is, it's a game changer. When your body gets the chemicals you are supposed to have. It made me realize pretty much all y'all been walking around thinking your thoughts all the way through this entire time. <laughs> this whole time you've been superheroes? Just every day you're like, first part of the thought, second part of the thought, distraction, distraction, distraction. Haha, <laughs> nice try, last part of the thought. <laughs> the period at the end. Mm, check your privilege. Dude, every single day of my life has been who, what, where, when, why. I'm bored! Ooh, let's go smoke a little bit of weed. Yeah! It makes it harder. THC and ADD? I'm a fan! Goldfish! Yeah. Luckily, I like circles. It's a good shape, like I have one as a haircut. Okay. That last line deserved way more. Uh, October is actually uh, ADHD Awareness Month, and I think that's excessive. Whole month for people who are like, what? Spaced! <laughs> like, what? So, so it's not someone who had ADHD that did that, called dibs on a whole month. That takes so much paperwork. <laughs> like, I forget about things I care about. <laughs> like, oh my god. It wasn't someone with ADHD, it was the parent of someone with ADHD. It was just like, I. Oh. <laughs> I don't love my child, but you guys need to know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Unconditional love can be a bit of a burden. <laughs> okay, not enough of you have looked in the eyes of a mother. <laughs> Just catch him at a supermarket. When a kid is doing circles around a car, he'll be like... <laughs> this is a choice. <laughs> this October, I want to do a 5K to uh, raise awareness of my people. <laughs> you know, you know, what's gonna happen is we're gonna set up the 5K, the, the start of it will be in the center of town, and there will not be a finish. <laughs> Everyone's gonna show and be like, where do we go? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you scatter, that's where you go. <laughs> 
will. I'm raising awareness. How does it feel? Empathy, motherfucker. I think a lot of the activities tied to raising awareness are ultimately kind of self-serving. By far my favorite example of this happened a couple decades ago. It was in, uh, it was in uh, 1995. A man rode a jet ski off of uh, Niagara Falls. Yeah, and he said he did it to raise awareness of homelessness. And that is not how that works. How does, how does riding a jet ski off of a waterfall help anybody at all? All that does is raise awareness about how cool that dude is. <laughs> so he'd been planning it for like seven years. He had a jet ski on the side of it. He wrote the phrase, save the homeless. But when his leg was on it, it just, it, it just read, save less. <laughs> I was like, I think that's a part of the problem, actually. Yeah, that guy was dumb. He died. <laughs> just all the way. <laughs> Which is sad, but on the bright side, at least one home became available. <laughs> he helped the cause. Okay, we got some empathy in our hearts tonight, Seattle, for this man who died almost 30 years ago. <laughs> you shouldn't feel, we're here for ha 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 ha. It's okay, you can laugh at this dummy. He deserved it, if I'm being honest. Uh, <laughs> He had a homemade jetpack, a homemade parachute, neither of which are things that should be made in a home. <laughs> but you know what they say, dress for the job you want. <laughs> and apparently he wanted to be Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> He's like, to infinity! He's like, nah, dog, you're going to the beyond. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I don't feel bad, because he did that October of 1995. Earlier that year, May 1995, a song came out, a hit song by the group TLC. <laughs> they warned all of us of the dangers of chasing waterfalls. <laughs> TLC was very specific. They said, stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to. <laughs> But you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. <laughs> I just think you're moving too fast. <laughs> Keep going. That's the end of the joke. What are you doing? I feel like I, I just spent three minutes being like, fuck this dead, dumb dude. And you guys are like, hell yeah, more, dude. More TLC. More TLC? Yeah, I do, because I did, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that's the most TLC-related stand-up comedy you're going to hear anytime soon. <laughs> do you think that's just a, they, We have spent 15 minutes on Finger Fucking Alone tonight. <laughs> across, like, four different comedians. I'm like, here's TLC for two and a half. You're like, more, 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 more. <laughs> that's Mama's favorite genre of yuck yucks. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like you guys don't actually know how this is supposed to work tonight. <laughs> don't be sorry, be better. <laughs> I'm not good at nicely telling people to shut up. It's, it's I've tried. I've been, I've been doing this over a decade and I keep being like, can I? It's not, it's not, my, it's not my energy. It's, yeah, I have angry stepdad energy. <laughs> We're like, hey, <laughs> my love is not unconditional. Okay. We're at Disneyland. We're all trying to have a good time, but I need you to follow directions. <laughs> I would like to nicely remind you, I am ultimately only here to fuck your mom. So could you... <laughs> You're ruining this for all of us. Just according to plan. Okay. 